Welcome everybody to the Automation Zone. In today's tutorial, we shall be learning how to automate iframes. A big thank you to you three guys who are helping me keep my channel running. In order to understand iframes, let us see that with the help of an example. In this website right here, you have a web page, and inside of that web page, you have a box that contains another web page. Therefore, in a very simple language, we can consider an iframe, which is this box, has an element that stores another web page altogether. Now, developers might use iframe like this one right here, which is embedded within a web page. They can use iframes which are floating, which are transparent. There are many ways to use iframes. Also, a web page can have one iframe or multiple iframes. An iframe can also have an iframe within it as well. Now, the next question, why are we learning to automate an iframe? Because automating an iframe will present us with a few challenges. Now, what are those challenges? Let us see that again with the help of the presentation. Now, just imagine this, that the blue part right here is your default web page, what you normally see. Okay, so that is a default page HTML. Now, within that, you have got, let's assume, three iframes, these three iframes. Note that all the iframes can be presented with a unique index and the very first iframe will be having the index 0 always. So this is iframe with index 0 and then index 1 and then index 2. Now what happens in a normal condition is that we go ahead with the automation and imagine that you have an element present within iframe 1. You do a simple code in order to find or locate that element but that's not going to work because Selenium will not allow you to find an element from one page to a different page because these two pages are different. Although the iframe is coming within the default HTML page, it is a complete different entity. Therefore, we have to perform the action call has switch. So from your default page, you have to switch to your iframe and then perform the find by operation. Also, the next thing to note is Say for example, you are currently in the iframe 1. If you are in iframe 1, you cannot go ahead and locate any element in iframe 0, iframe 3 or in your default web page. In order to do that, you have to switch to that specific iframe or to your default window and then go ahead and press and uh, perform the specific query. Let us also have a look at the nested iframe. So over here, the blue portion here is a default HTML and that has got a parent iframe right here with the index 0 and that has got a child iframe with the index 0 and that one has got two other iframes with index 0 and 1. Now why is the indexes like this and not 0, 1, 2 and 3? It is because for the default page it can see only one iframe which is this one right here. Everything else is invisible. Therefore for the default page this one is iframe 0. For the parent iframe, it can see only one. Therefore, this has got index zero. And similar for the child, it can see two. Therefore, it has got index zero and index one. Now, let us uh, stop this and let us just jump into the coding part and automate iframes. For that, we'll have a uh, we'll navigate to this website right here, and the link of that I will be giving in the description below. In this specific website, we have a parent iframe. And within the parent iframe, we also have a child iframe. Let us first try to see the error that we get if we directly try to identify the element, this one, within an iframe. So right click and inspect. Here we go. Upon inspection, let me show you something. This is the element within the frame. And as you can see, it is within an HTML tag. And this HTML tag is within the tag called has iframe. The HTML is present right here. And if you scroll all the way on the top, you would see a bigger HTML. This is your default source page HTML. And inside of that, we have an iframe. And inside of the iframe, we have an HTML. Okay. And uh, if you look inside of the HTML, you will see that it has one more iframe right here as well. So what we, we, what we are going to do is we are going to try to identify this element right here called as parent iframe. So copy that text. It has got a tag called as P come to our code driver dot find element by xpath the xpath is a paragraph tag with the text which is equal to paste 
here we go dot text we we'll have to print out the text in order to print something out just type in SYSO control space and paste this piece of code which is going to get the text within the print line statement like this here we go save and execute upon execution you'll be able to see the error if I go back to my Eclipse you'll be able to see the error no such element unable to locate the element with the help of the xpath parent iframe so that element could not be identified now as you have learned earlier in order to identify the element first you have to switch to that particular iframe <coughs> sorry so driver dot switch to dot frame and we can switch with the help of the index and with the help of the name or id I use the index only if you are uh, very certain that the website has got only a specific number of iframes but if you look over here let me just search iframe you can see that it has got 31 iframes therefore this technique in our case would not be precise so what we'll do is we'll go with a different one which is name or id which is going to be much more precise and stable so let me again search the iframe inspect that this iframe has got an id called as frame 1 we come back here so we have got one more method switch to frame with the help of name or id so either type in the name or type in the id we have the id let me type that so we are switching to the frame and then searching the element within the frame and getting the text let me run this now here we go let me go back Okay, here we go. The, the name parent iframe has been printed out. Therefore, the code is working perfectly fine. Now, let me close these two browsers. Let me go back to our website. Now, what we'll do is we'll go one step further is we'll try to identify the child iframe. Now, in order to do that from the parent iframe, you have to first switch to the child iframe and then identify that, right? Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, what we are do going to do is from the iframe, we are going to search the next iframe this one and this one has got the id called as frame 2 so the same steps are going to be applied which is driver dot switch to but this time frame 2 and then let us go ahead and also print out the element child iframe which is this one right here copy that and let me paste it right here save it and let me execute this so we are switching to the parent iframe we're printing out the element of the parent iframe then we're switching to the child iframe and printing out the element in the child iframe if you see the code it is working perfectly fine now from here if you want to go back to the main page you have to do is driver dot switch to dot default content now just note one important thing the moment you do this okay regardless of in which iframe you are you're always going to go to the main page so it doesn't matter if you are in the parent iframe or child iframe default content will take you to the main page so the moment you do that you can then go ahead and identify the elements in the main website so in order to prove that We'll do one thing we'll try to identify this element right here called as default page here we go again it's a paragraph tag with the uh, with the text called as default page copy that come here let me paste this here and change the text to default page and let me execute the code all over again here we go so we're switching to parent from there we're switching to child and then from there we're switching back to the default and if you look at the output it's working perfectly fine parent child iframe if you do not do any one of these steps or switching like this it will throw you an error here we go let me show you the error as well just to confirm here we go the error is 
that the first two elements were identified but since we since we did not switch to the default page we could not identify the element default page a quick heads up guys uh, you can also switch to an iframe with the help of the web element and that is by doing driver dot switch to dot frame and instead of typing the index or the id or name what you do is you type in or you or you give the web element and the way you do that is driver dot find element by xpath or any of the locators right there if you choose xpath then it's going to be double forward slash iframe and then the properties of the iframe for example class is equal to something i hope that makes sense here we go like this so that is it for this tutorial on iframes in the next tutorial we shall be learning uh, some other cool things if you like this tutorial uh, do show your support by liking and sharing this video and subscribing to my channel thank you guys for watching